Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It is Tuesday, and I'm going to turn it over to Kathy so we can see what's sold for us today. Hey, friends. I did want to thank a few of y'all for buying us some coffees. Um, Hello Bethel bought us two coffees and said, loving the spreadsheet. I've told so many people about it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank um, you so much. Keep up the great work. We all learn so much from you guys, and you're both so encouraging and kind. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for that support. Yeah. Um, Megan, and for sharing it. That's awesome. Yes, that's really all we could ask for. <laughs> so, uh, Megan bought us a coffee and said, Hi, guys. want to thank you for your channel and the spreadsheet. I recently had a baby. I'm trying to make reselling my full-time job. You guys inspire and motivate me. Thanks for your humbleness. All the best. Thank you, Megan. Awesome. Thank you so much, Good Megan. Good luck with your reselling. Yeah and reselling um, with a baby. Yes. <laughs> challenging. It is challenging. Raising but a baby alone is challenging, yeah, yes. so adding reselling <laughs> to the mix. Um, we'll be praying for you. <laughs> <laughs> but we know you yes, can do it. <laughs> you can do it, absolutely. For sure. And then I think this last one's Michelle. It looks like Michelle with a couple extra letters in front and behind, so if I'm saying it wrong, let me know. Um, but uh, Michelle bought us a coffee and said, hi, all. I have to thank you for designing the brilliant spreadsheet and making it free out of the goodness of your hearts. I also sub to your YouTube channel to follow along. Good awesome. times. Go get it in Q1. So. Awesome. Michelle, yeah. thank you so much for that support. We're trying. Yeah. Um, a bit of a slower sales day again, but I, you can tell by my board, I'm, I didn't quite do my all the listings I like to do in a week last week. And this week's not off to a good start either. So I've only done 10 on Monday. Yeah. It's Tuesday now, which I prepped that whole rack of shoes today, but I have photographed zero of them so far. <laughs> We're finding it kind of difficult <laughs> to get back in the groove yeah. with the kids being home so. for, you know, almost three full weeks from school over <laughs> Christmas break. It's It's been tough for us yeah. to get back in the groove of things, and it's showing. <laughs> yeah, so you've seen our table piled high, probably yeah. all those shoes for the last week. So I finally got them off, and now just a few things left. Yeah. Those are clothes that I also typed in and need to photograph. But, yeah, hopefully I <laughs> can... Um, I mean, that's like 50 pairs of shoes. So the shoes I like because they're fast once you get them. Yeah. You know, just the typing them in the spreadsheet and... You know, wiping the num even wiping the numbers off the bottom takes a amount of time that I wish I could get back. But <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, let's get started. So in box O, I sold a vintage Oshkosh denim romper overalls. Um, I still like picking these up. Um, there's one Goodwill in particular in Colorado Springs here where they put all the overalls in one little like section which is nice because I go straight there I don't I used to look kind of all the way through the kids section especially at least in my kids sizes and then try to look in the baby section because overalls but also like little pajamas like kicky pants and stuff yeah. like that I would like to look for but I've kind of since I like shoes more now I I just go to the sections that I know that I almost always find something. So like this overall was $1.99 and it sold in a day, maybe two days of being listed for $29.75 plus shipping. So okay. easy $20 profits pretty much all the time. Every time I go to the store, I find usually at least one overall to make 20 bucks off of. In that specific store that yeah. keeps them separate. So do you think it's worth even looking? I mean, I might unless like you're already quickly looking? scan. Like, I'm not going to go, like, sift yeah. through directs like this, but I might, like, quickly scan with my eyes. The vintage ones for sure, and you can tell they're vintage because it has a paper tag and it says made in the USA. So okay, that's that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I scan the kids section with my eyes. Like, I can pretty much pick out Matilda Jane patterns and... Mm -hmm certain patterns and like prints and stuff but i definitely don't sift through all of anything anymore right because it just takes a long time all right so this little billabong tea this i got um retail arbitrage i did pay 350 for it and sold it for 11.95 plus shipping so i'm not getting rich over here but <laughs> that's um that's about a six dollar profit and i did send an offer out to the watcher so it would have sold eventually i just like i just have no chill i just always <laughs> send offers as soon as i see one available to send 
But yeah, um, I mean, even something like this, $6, this is new with tag. I didn't have to do anything except photograph it and put it in the little plastic and now put the plastic straight in this bag. So yeah, I would say that's less than 10 minutes of work, but just to like break it down, even if it was 10 minutes of work, do that 10 minutes, like for an six hour times yeah. in an hour. That's still $36 an hour, right? which is a good job. And that's our probably lowest profit sale. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's on the very that's low end. how I think about reselling for the most part. Um, Obviously, we're, yeah. when you really add it all up, it's it's not really like getting $36 an hour. Yeah. Because you're not going to find that exact thing, mm -hmm. you know, enough to fill a full yeah. day. And I had to source it, which, again, I don't really consider that. I mean, I consider it time, but yeah. I didn't just buy that shirt that day. I actually probably bought 100 items just right. that day because I remember finding a lot at that store so i just want to point out make sure people understand that you know it, it takes a lot of work to to do reselling it's not like a get rich quick overnight kind of thing right it takes a lot of work to build up your store you know become a large enough to where you're making daily sales and all that so it's yeah. yes that specific item we profited you know like six bucks um but you, you know if you're doing multiple items it does add up and yeah. if you have better processes and do things faster it makes it more cost effective for you so yeah and the way i always like to think of it like this day you know like all the five dollar t-shirts i've been getting so this wasn't part of that because this is a kid shirt but like all those men's like curly shirts and stuff I yeah have. I got these on the same day, and so I did get a ton that day, and I was able to, like, pretty much process and list it all within the next day. Right. So, yes, that was $6, but overall, from the whole haul, I'll probably make a $1,000 profit, and it was, like, one day of work. Right. So that's another way I think of it, just right. how much time in general. It's not, like, per item. It's more, like, per haul or yeah. something even. Yeah, and those hauls kind of come few and far between. That If you were able to yeah. do that every day, that's all we would do, <laughs> right? I mean, I could go find that much profit, but then to actually get it all listed, so. Yeah. And then, like, because that was a new Attack shirt, that's much easier to list and stuff than a, I mean, these are new Attack, but if I have to even throw it in the laundry yeah. machine, that's more time. I mean, that's a kid shirt, so I didn't measure it. If it's an adult shirt, I take a couple extra minutes to measure it, so yeah. it was just... I definitely don't buy everything to sell for a six dollar <laughs> profit, but yeah, just a um, way to think about it. Speaking of six dollar profits, <laughs> this is actually going out to our viewer Angela. Um, she bought it from me for eight sixty five plus shipping. It's a Blistex, so just like a chapstick. But when I looked it up, it actually had like a hundred percent sell through rate. I think there was like seventeen listed, seventeen sold. I just listed this last night actually, but apparently this flavor is like. Um, discontinued or something mm. so anyways thank you Angela <laughs> um this actually the other day there was someone in our neighborhood that sold like a huge beauty lot for to me for 25 bucks well they posted it on the local page and I just got in line for it so yeah pick that up porch pickup um a lot of new unopened yeah. stuff right so I yeah it's, it was pretty much all unused I'm keeping some of it for myself to use and then I so far, I've pulled out 20 items to list. So right now, I've typed each item in as a dollar 25 just to mm -hmm. recoup the initial 25. Everything I keep for myself will technically be free once all the others sell off. So a dollar 25 into <laughs> 865 plus shipping. So again, probably a five six dollar profit there. But yeah. for the whole haul together, like there was two items in there that are going to sell for about 30. Yeah, just by themselves. So one of those thirty dollars ones would basically get me my money back, and the rest is profit. So. Right, and something like this, you know, you take a photo like that, you take a photo like that, yeah, and you list it. You don't have to describe what it is. People, you know, if they're looking for that, that's where you get the sell through rate comes in. Kathy says it's a hundred percent sell through rate. That means people are actually online right yeah. now buying it, so and there's not enough to that supply would that. Probably sell definitely in ninety days, most likely yeah. thirty days. But then, and yeah, Angela did scoop yeah. it up. But if she didn't, <laughs> if a viewer sold. didn't buy it, a hundred percent sell through rate means that would sell very quick for us anyway. So yeah. we do appreciate your <laughs> your uh, support anyway, yes. Angela. <laughs> Also, Angela, because this is not, because I bought this from a random lot. Yeah. Even though it's sealed, you know, I don't know how she stored it. So right. if, if you open this and for some reason it's like weirdly melted or something, let me know and I'll. Yeah, just let us know you. if you do have any issue with that. So. <laughs> I wouldn't probably think twice about it except that it's going to a viewer. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if a, a random just purchaser bought it and said that it was messed up, I would refund them right. too. But right. I'd feel extra bad about it being a viewer. Yeah. Because yeah. there's really no way for me to tell if there's. <laughs> 
Angela actually is the one that bought Reese this bed. She sent it to us, and <laughs> he's been loving it more and more every day. <laughs> he was kind of iffy about it he a little bit in the beginning. This morning, you weirdo. Uh -huh. oh. But sometimes we'll be downstairs, and he'll just be up here all alone, just in the bed. Yeah. So <laughs> this is this window right here is kind of the only one you can see yeah. out to the front of our house, other than through our son's bedroom, which is usually the door is closed, so Reese doesn't like go. Right. Uh, get his dirty feet all over the room <laughs> or something, but yeah. So sometimes he'll run up here also just to like look out the window. All right, this is actually another viewer sale going out to Teresa. She said she found our channel, wanted to support us. Um, and this little Build-A-Bear, I think it's a bulldog, right? I think it's a bulldog. <laughs> um, so I got this at an estate sale where my average cost of goods was two sixty five. Teresa offered 12 on eBay, which again, I have these set up as auto accept or decline, so it mm. auto accepted. Okay. She paid and yeah, I'm gonna send him out today. Awesome. Teresa, thank you so much for that support. Yeah. I forgot to say how uh, so the chapstick because that's a four ounce label the chapstick only weighs like an ounce like not even an ounce so i'm gonna look for a tiny box but i only paid for four ounces so if i can find a box to keep it under four i'll do that otherwise i'll bubble wrap around this and put it in a mailer yeah. this little guy is over a pound so he is going priority so we'll just do him in a, the o box or large mailing box yeah so we'll put him in a mailer and then in a box. Yeah, we do we do package inside of our boxes just for like weather, you know, if, if yeah, something if gets, gets wet. wet. That'd be gross, like a, yeah. especially a stuffed animal, so. So. Yep. <laughs> All right, AI. Actually, I wonder if I still have that message that reminded me. I got a Mercari message the other day. If you've been watching our channel, you've probably seen me sell this um, Colorado boulder hat or whatever oh yeah, yeah, yeah the wool hat that yeah i don't see it at the moment but i, sh I think i sent chris a screenshot basically the person said the box sh and i put all of our hats in a box so we put them in our plastics like these our cellophane bags yeah. yep um linked in the description and i usually put the air pops that come in free like with the amazon boxes i usually put those in the hat just to keep its form yeah. inside the box and then we put the plastic in the box. So they said the box came completely like torn open. They thought it was just gonna be nothing in there, but they said it was okay because of the <laughs> extra stuff inside. So yes, that doesn't happen every day. Right. Um, but, and also that was a $7 sale. So if I had to, you know, refund them, it wasn't a huge loss, but you just never know, so. Right. It also gives a very professional delivery. You know, even if there is no issue, you know, people, see the clear cellophane bag and it, it just gives the feeling of okay this company yeah. cares <laughs> it also makes it super easy for us to do inventory it's finding the inventory when we're packing up so it's it's not just to keep it protected it's like a yeah you know we do it for multiple reasons and yeah like an in inventory these shoes like we used to store our shoes in just plastic bins with yeah nothing and just yeah, piled on totes. top of each other they would all get scuffed up yep sometimes they'd get like a dent in them that couldn't come out so yeah we definitely started storing them more like this but yeah so since they're in the plastic they're also not rubbing on the other items which yeah helps and like you said now i just put this straight into whatever box they're going in right and, and once out. we clean it they could be on the shelf for yep. a year and we don't have to clean it again because <laughs> it's been in the bag you know we do put stuff up on the top shelf here and oftentimes if it's been sitting there for a while we have to re wipe it down because it's got dusty <laughs> over you know months yeah. and this fan makes some yeah noise, so. fan does kick up dust <laughs> So anyhow, those are the brand Fin Comfort. Great brand to look out for, similar to a Birkenstock. And honestly, I've found that they kind of sell for more than Birkenstocks. I've only sold it, I think, three times now. But after I say that, these sold for 50. That was an offer I accepted. I definitely could have got more, probably in the 80 to $100 range if I wanted to hold out. Mm -hmm. But they've been listed at least 30 days at this point. I remember just relisting them, I think, within the last week. So, um, yeah. Anyhow, yeah, so someone offered me 50. I only paid 8.99 for them, so I accepted, especially a day like today was kind of slow overall. Mm -hmm. So that $30 profit is nice. So yeah. It's it's always sad <laughs> when you're like, oh, and I know they're worth more, but Yeah, but we're here to sell. Got to pay the bills, you know? Yeah. We're here to sell stuff, not to store stuff. Yep. And if that's the first offer you got in a certain amount of time, you, you know, what are the chances of you getting a better offer 
in twice the time. Probably not very high. <laughs> yep. All right, another viewer sale. Thank you guys for keeping us afloat <laughs> over here. Um, these are going out to Lindsay. She said um, she watched our channel and she recently got some posh credit and wanted to spend it with us. So thank oh, awesome. you so much. Um, these are some awesome Sanook yoga flip flops. I got these at the bin, so I have a dollar twelve into them, and Lindsay bought them for sixteen with discount shipping on Posh. So I'm making about a ten dollar profit on those. Cool. Thank you so much for that support, Lindsay. Thank we appreciate you. it. I hope you love the shoes. Those are my favorite. Although I just like the flip flops, not the extra yoga ones. Right. I'm not cool enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just feel like I don't know. I'm just like so boring. <laughs> like I'm always think those are cute when I see people wear them, but. I did try on a pair once and I just felt like I couldn't pull it off. <laughs> I don't know. All right, uh, last sale of the day. These are some Sorel boots. I paid up a lot for these at a local thrift because they were basically in perfect condition. Mm -hmm. And Sorel usually sells really fast, which they did. Paid $30 for them, listed them for 100. This person got the Posture VA offer of 80 with discount shipping and then countered at 70, so about another $8 off is what they countered at, and I accepted. So I make 54 after the posh fee. It's about a $24 profit, but in about two days after I listed on. So I knew I could, I thought I could about double my money, so just a little under that, but really yeah. easy. Quick easy flip. Sale, yeah. Sweet. Oh so, yeah. So let's, uh, let's get these things packed. Oh, how are you gonna, how are you gonna pack those up? This row, oh, and those, so those are both, oh, all three of those. <laughs> They're all Poshmark sales, so. Oh, Poshmark right. makes it easy for us. Yeah, those are all Posh, yeah. So Lindsay's I'll probably do. Maybe like a flat mailer. Yeah, or maybe just like a regional A flat yeah. box, because those will slide right in. So with Poshmark, they allow you to use any of these priority mailboxes, as long as they're not priority, priority mail express, right? You can't use the express ones, but you can use the regional rates or the flat rates padded flat rate even um so poshmark makes it super easy because of that i need to restock them all like these would do best in either a large flat rate or like a regional b regional b box but i don't have either of those here mm. and like this box is kind of very large for those yeah and i don't think we do have them they're just downstairs in our trailer that's where we keep our extra boxes yeah not a very good fit so well, so we'll probably yeah we'll probably go get actually we might have some over there on that rack we so. don't oh we, we don't build all, all the ones that okay we have. so yeah we'll have to make a trip downstairs for that and then what are you gonna do here yeah, shoe I box see. maybe those, yeah shoe or sorry i like the regional b now on shoes that aren't at least on posh because they sit flat more yeah than, you know the shoe boxes could i don't know it doesn't actually matter <laughs> but i'm just weird <laughs> so <laughs> But yeah, any box really. Cool. So yeah, we'll you probably use the regional B box on those and get the stuff all packed up and then we'll be right back. All right, you guys, got it all packed up. Thanks for watching, Reese. Sorry, I didn't mean rubs? I didn't mean to wake you. Do you want your tummy rubbed right now or later? <laughs> right now? He's super sad because right okay. dogs aren't allowed in the, the kids' pickup line anymore. He loved, used to love going for an R-I-D-E. <laughs> well, yeah, got it all packed up. That's what's going out today, Tuesday. Yep. <laughs> and hopefully I can at least list 35 pairs tonight to make up for not listing 15 items yesterday or the day before that. <laughs> cool. That's what we're working on this evening, guys. Thank you so much for all the amazing support from our viewers today, guys. We do appreciate it, and uh, thanks for watching. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.